Hi, this is Jen Vickers, and I am going to show you how to add a school rating reports to your KW website. And what I am going to show you is this right here, where somebody can go in. You can default what area that you want, um, but you can always go in to the search. You can put in a new zip code. Um, mm -hmm. And click go and then you can see here there you can click on the schools and once you click on the schools you can see some of the breakdown some of the, the reports um, parents um, how they rate their schools and all but this is a great thing to use like if you have buyers wanting to know how uh, it how a certain neighborhood is so to do that under your agent sites we want to go or under your command you want to go to this bottom icon with consumer and this is what I'm on now and then you want to go over to the top right and click on create page you want to add it to your site you want to change the name here so let, I'm just going to name it to schools reports you want to go over and the best widget that I know on this time is to do the um, company profile over on the side you want to click on configure widgets and click on it and for this heading is this heading right here so you can put here um, like school search you can type in whatever once you click on um, save and apply it's going to change you can also change this picture um, you can change it by clicking right here. You see this little picture here? And I had downloaded from the website this picture right here. If you want to see what that looks like. Under this intro text is where we're going to put the link uh, to the site. So we want to go ahead and like delete that information. And let's go ahead and save and apply. So that you can see and then I want to go to this site called greatschools.org slash widgets or widget here you'll want to put in some information so this is where you will put in the um, the zip code of your default right here you can choose the size of your widget the, the size that I have here is um, what it shows I believe it's this right here 640 by 500 but what you might want to do like if you want to do for the entire desktop you want to change this to a thousand or um, actually I think this one's for I think this is the one I use you put in your email you put in your website that's being hosted. And you click on here that you agree and get widget. Here you want to triple click on here and copy. So you can either do like a right click copy or you can um, do a control C or command C to, if you want to just do it on your keyboard. So I want to copy. And this is what you can see down here, what you're going to see. Um, but this right here is what is best for um, on your phone. So now we want to go back to this right here. And we want to paste that code right there. And then the rest of these, we just want to go ahead and delete the rest of these. This one has an asterisk, so it needs to be have something put in there. But if you just do a space bar, that would work. And we'll go through and delete all of these. That's it. So save and apply. And save changes.
this has been doing this lately. Let me, if that happens, you just need to reload and just do it again real quick. Company. Change name to. School search. Paste. Apply, save changes, and yes. There we go. Now we want to add the page to our website. So go down here um, and you want to make sure that you are under the um, site and app settings. But you go down to add page, click on the report that you want to do. Up here, new page. I want to put school search. I don't think that that's what I named it before. Now that it's school ratings and reports. New page. Schools 2. Because you I need to have something there. Click save. Now when you go back up to here. Let me go to the beginning. Refresh. And you, you can see right here, school search. 